snake dead ahead. Welcome to the Woodford Oak Fire Trail. It goes all the way from Woodford in the Blue Mountains to Glenbrook. And I'm going to take the train back. Polygon Syncline C5 carbon hard pile down this trail. I've done it with the old Apollo Summit before. So I've got front suspension, tubeless tyres, mud flap upgrade, bottle cages with frozen water, nice cool ice drink for later. I'm going to check out the single track pipe that goes from the oak down to Glenbrook instead of taking the fire trail, which will be what that's like. They've got a tap here for your water bottle, so don't use the neighbour's gardens, use the one here. So a lot of this is a fire trail. It's relatively smooth, but you need a mountain bike because there's a few bumps and rocks. So it should be fun, about 30 kilometres roughly and then come back on the train. Nice day today, 25 degrees Celsius, bit of cloud cover for some shade, not too bad. So make sure you've got enough water, puncture repair kit or spare tubes or tubeless repair kit like I've got if you've got tubeless. Make sure you've let someone know where you're going. This is a one way trip, so if you get stuck halfway, there's no easy car access to get you out. You've got to make it all the way to the end. So be safe, people. If this isn't heaven, I don't know what is. Here's another ascent. So it's best not to do this in summer. Try and do it early in the day so it's cooler. So it is quite exposed. There is some tree cover, but if it's a really hot day, consider not doing it. Don't forget to stay hydrated folks and have sunscreen on even if it's cloudy. Don't forget to stop, smile and check out the scenery. Oh, it's beautiful. Some bits are smooth, some bits have got smooth rock, other bits have got lots of rocks. It's a mountain bike is best. So I've got 29 inch tyres by 2.25. I've got an 11 and a half k's. This is the helipad area. About 45 minutes riding. Good spot to have a break, have morning tea, get some water down me. It's a Monday, so there's only been a few riders. It's a lot busier on the weekends. So the advantage of a carbon hardtail, it's lighter, less than 12 kilos. I've got room for two water bottles. It has a full suspension mountain bike, it's heavier. You can only fit one water bottle. So for those steep uphills, it's a lot harder. That's why I picked the carbon hardtail, for those tough uphills. Right, had some food had some water, make sure you bring your rubbish out with you. The rest of the trail is more downhill, there's some uphill, but it's more of a descent. So let's get going. Some bits are shady like this, but there are some exposed sections. So don't do it on a boiling hot day. Snake dead ahead, be still, let it go, don't interfere with it, don't chase it. Snakes are venomous in Australia, got to watch it. Don't know how well the GoPro is picking it up. So you just want to stay still, let it go, go around it. No sudden fast movements. So it's a nice warm day today, snakes are basking in the sun, heating up, letting it go in the grass, keeping an eye on it and just going nice and slow. 
nice and slow let it go that's how you deal with a red belly black snake in Australia oh just listen to that hub sound it's so good flat or descending it's like a highway it's a highway to Glenbrook yeah yeah highway to Glenbrook yeah ah yeah. oh, made it to the Oaks fire trail gate you can continue straight ahead down the fire trail on your bikes but a bit that I haven't done before is this single track section just for mountain bikes. I've travelled 17 k's so far. Another 10 to 15 to go. So that's the Great Western Highway going towards Sydney. That's Woodford at the start. That's Woodford Oaks Fire Trail. Helipad was somewhere around here that I stopped and now we're at the Oaks Junction there's a picnic area some toilets here so you can take the fire trail but I'm going to take the single track which sort of follows this fire trail we're going to end up at Glenbrook have lunch and take the train all the way following the highway and the train line back to the start there's a few ups and downs the bit I just did was a nice downhill we're at the Oaks more downhill and then a really steep incline to get out of the National Park. We've got the Red Heron Caves in Glenbrook, a place of indigenous significance. So you can look at it but don't touch touch the paintings, they're heritage listed. Don't you love a comedian? Look on back of sign. Made you look. <laughs> We're gonna go to full open suspension on the Fox. 32, you can have full 120 mils travel or firm if you're doing tarmac and I'll use that for the steep tarmac ascent out of here but I'll go fully open. Let's try the single track. So it's just crossing the main fire trail. Gotta watch out for cars, they can go on this bit. Let's head to Glenbrook. So bikes only down this single track. a bit of a fire trail just follow the signs that say mountain bike track so you've got green to the right blue to the left I'll take the blue drops like that so you can go around them so if you're not confident like me just go around those difficult obstacles nice berms here so look ahead, just go slow over the obstacles you're not confident with. Take it easy, you want to get down in one piece. Pedals at nine and three for these rocks so you're not scraping the ground. Beautiful pavement here. Oh, I'm going to go across. We make it, oh, almost made it, along the log. Keep pedaling! Those tricky bits, you just got to keep pedaling. Don't stop. 
climb this section, it's too steep, almost going down a cliff. So I took the easier way. So the harder obstacles do have a detour. It's probably what that sign meant, go to the right for the easier bits. Yeah, I think that's what it meant. I like those paved sections, they look beautiful. Oh, and I think this is the end of the single track. Made it to Glenbrook. This is a causeway car park. Woo! This is the way the cars drive. The causeway's down there, they come up this hill and they keep going that way into the national park. So the next section it's got cars as well, so I'm gonna put a high vis top on and clip lights on the polygon syncline just to be extra safe. Don't want to have a run into the car. No, I want to have lunch at the cafe. Don't want to not make it to the cafe. So I've pinched these lights off the penny farthing, but she doesn't mind. I just clip on the elastic bands. Extra safe now. So it'd be fun coming down here, but then I've got to go up the other side. So watch out for cars. Across the causeway. Hope I don't get my feet wet. No, let's do this bridge part. Don't want to get the tyres wet and sink line. Now the pain of the uphill. First corner. Keep going. This road to the right goes to Jelly Bean Pool, but you've got to go down to a beautiful pool and come back up again. So, one uphill I'm doing now is enough for me. Right there at the car park, National Park entrance. short ride with a bit of uphill to get into the town of Glenbrook. The suburbs of Glenbrook. So there's a bike path and pedestrian path it goes off to the left. So I'll take that one. So in the afternoon on a weekday, 20 past the hour, Trains leave from Glenbrook, going back up the mountains, Woodford. Weekends, it's 27 past the hour. So, it's quarter past 12. I won't be able to get the next one. So I'll get the 120, have lunch first at a cafe, and I'll get the 120 back up the mountains. So stations to my left, I'm gonna go right to the cafe. To this cafe before, so check it out. at Glenbrook Station waiting for the train ride back up to Woodford. Awesome ride down from Woodford down to Glenbrook. So good to have lunch here. Time to head back up. Just got to move up to the front of the train. The first carriage has the bike racks.
Thanks. Snake dead ahead. Be still, let it go. Don't interfere with it. Don't chase it. Snakes are venomous in Australia, gotta watch it. Don't know how well the GoPro is picking it up. <laughs> 